Download this code from codegive.com, link in the description below. Chat GPT failed to get upload status for slash MNT slash data quick fix, a detailed tutorial. This error, failed to get upload status for slash MNT slash data, commonly arises when you're trying to upload files to chat GPT, specifically GPT-4 with code interpreter, that are too large, corrupt, inaccessible, or not properly recognized by the system. Slash MNT slash data is a temporary file system where GPT-4 with code interpreter stores files uploaded during the session. This tutorial will break down the likely causes and provide solutions with code examples to help you resolve this issue. Understanding the problem. The error failed to get upload status for slash MNT slash data indicates that the chat GPT environment is having trouble accessing or understanding the uploaded file located at the temporary directory slash MNT slash data. This can occur for several reasons, all related to how the file is handled. Asterisk file size limit asterisk chat GPT has an undocumented file size limit for uploads. Exceeding this limit is a common culprit. While the specific limit isn't officially published, it's generally estimated to be around 100 megabytes, or sometimes even lower. Asterisk file format issues Asterisk GPT-4 may not be able to parse the file format you've uploaded. This can be due to Asterisk unsupported format Asterisk chat GPT supports common formats like .text dot csv dot pdf dot docs dot xlsx dot zip dot py dot js dot json dot html image files example dot png dot jpg dot jpeg dot gif audio files example dot mp3 dot wave and video files example dot mp4 Dot avi. It may struggle with less common or proprietary formats. Asterisk corrupted file asterisk the file itself might be damaged or incomplete during upload. Asterisk incorrect file extension asterisk the file extension might not accurately reflect the actual file type. Asterisk accessibility and permissions asterisk while less common with direct uploads. There might be internal permission issues preventing ChatGPT from accessing the temporary file. This is usually an internal problem, but it can be indirectly caused by how you prepare the file. Asterisk concurrency issues Asterisk if you are trying to upload multiple files in rapid succession, the system might struggle to manage the upload status, leading to this error. Asterisk complex file structure for archive files if you are uploading a .zip file or another archive, the internal structure of that archive could be too complex or contain too many nested directories for chat GPT to handle efficiently. Asterisk file encoding issues, for text files sometimes, text files encoded with a specific character encoding, example UTF-16, ISO 8859-1, might not be properly interpreted. UTF-8 is generally the most reliable choice. Asterisk network issues during upload asterisk though less directly related to the slash MNT slash data error, a flaky network connection during the upload process can sometimes lead to incomplete or corrupted files on the server, eventually causing the error. Asterisk bugs in chat GPT asterisk very rarely, there might be temporary bugs or glitches on the chat GPT server that cause issues with file processing. Troubleshooting and fixes, a step-by-step -step guide. Here's a systematic approach to diagnosing and resolving the failed to get upload status error. 1. Check file size and reduce if necessary. Asterisk action asterisk verify the size of the file you're uploading. If it exceeds approximately 100 megabytes, you must reduce it. Asterisk methods for reduction asterisk. Asterisk for images asterisk use image compression tools or online services like TinyPNG or ImageOptim. 
lower the resolution or quality. Asterisk for documents, PDF, docs, XLSX PDFs can be compressed using online PDF compressors or Adobe Acrobat. Docs and XLSX files can be saved with lower quality settings or by removing unnecessary images or data. Asterisk for audio slash video asterisk use compression tools, example handbrake for video, audacity for audio, to reduce the bitrate or resolution. Asterisk for text based data, CSV, JSON, text if possible, filter out unnecessary data or aggregate it to reduce the number of rows or columns. Consider using a more efficient data format if applicable, example a compressed format like Parquet or Feather for large tabular data sets, but note that GPT-4 can't read those directly, you'd need to write code to load them. Asterisk code example, Python, image compression. 2. Verify and correct file format. Asterisk action asterisk ensure the file extension accurately reflects the file's content. Convert to a supported format if necessary. Asterisk methods asterisk. Asterisk check file header asterisk use a hex editor, like HXD on Windows or a hex viewer on Mac OS slash Linux, to inspect the file's header bytes. These bytes often identify the file type. Compare the header to known signatures for different file formats. Asterisk conversion tools asterisk use tools like FPEG, for audio slash video, Pandoc, for documents, or online converters to convert to supported formats like .text, .csv, .pdf, .docs, .xlsx, .zip, .py. Asterisk code example, Python, CSV to text This example converts a CSV file to a text file. This might be useful if ChatGPT is having trouble with the CSV parsing. 3. Handle zipped archives carefully. Asterisk action asterisk if you are uploading .zip files. Asterisk reduce file count asterisk minimize the number of files within the archive. Asterisk simplify directory structure asterisk avoid deeply nested directories. Flatten the structure if possible. Put all relevant files directly into the root of the zip archive. Asterisk avoid executables asterisk do not include executable files, example .exe, .dll, .sh, within the zip archive. These are likely to be flagged for security reasons. Asterisk smaller archives asterisk break large archives into smaller, more manageable .zip files. Asterisk test the zip file asterisk before uploading, test that you can open and extract the zip file correctly on your own system. 4. Address file encoding, for text files. Asterisk action asterisk ensure your text files, example .text, .csv, .json, .html, .py, are encoded in UTF-8. Asterisk methods asterisk. Asterisk text editor asterisk open the file in a text editor like Notepad++, Windows, Sublime Text, Cross-Platform, VS Code, Cross-Platform, or Text Edit, Mac OS, and save it with UTF-8 encoding. Look for options like Save As, and then choose UTF-8 from the encoding drop-down. Asterisk code example, Python, encoding conversion. Asterisk important asterisk you will need to install the Charda library to automatically detect the file's encoding. Install it using pip install Charda. The errors equals ignore part is added to handle characters that might not be cleanly convertible, Consider removing it for strict error handling if your data is very important. 5. Network stability and retry uploads. Asterisk action asterisk ensure you have a stable internet connection. If you suspect network issues, try uploading the file again later when the connection is more reliable. 
A large file is more susceptible to errors during upload if the connection is intermittent. 6. Reduce complexity in CSV files. Asterisk action asterisk if using CSV, try simplifying your data. Asterisk methods asterisk. Asterisk remove unnecessary columns asterisk pare down the data to only the essential columns for your task. Asterisk reduce string lengths asterisk if you have very long text fields, consider truncating them or replacing them with shorter, more meaningful representations, example replace a long URL with a shortened version or a hash. Asterisk simplify complex data asterisk if you have nested data structures, example JSON embedded within CSV cells, flatten them out. Asterisk remove special characters asterisk ensure your CSV data doesn't contain problematic special characters that might confuse the parser. Pay close attention to delimiters, quote characters, and new line characters. Asterisk limit the number of columns asterisk too many columns can overwhelm the system. 7. Try uploading a simple test file. Asterisk action asterisk create a very small, simple text file, example test.text containing just the word test, and try uploading that. This helps determine if the issue is specific to the file you were trying to upload or a more general problem. 8. Interacting with the slash mnt slash data directory, for advanced debugging. While you can't directly browse the slash mnt slash data directory, GPT-4 can interact with files it believes are there. After uploading, before reporting the error, ask GPT-4 to do the following. Asterisk list the supposed contents asterisk can you list the files in the slash mnt slash data directory. It might not show anything if the upload genuinely failed. Asterisk read the first few lines of the file asterisk can you read the first 10 lines of my uploaded file. This can reveal if a partial or corrupted file was uploaded. 9. Handling large datasets in Code Interpreter If you are trying to analyze very large datasets that exceed file size limits even after compression, the most effective approach is often to use code within the Code Interpreter to fetch the data from an external source and process it in chunks. Here's a breakdown. Asterisk store data externally asterisk store your data in a publicly accessible location, such as Asterisk Google Drive, with sharing enabled, create a shareable link to the file. Asterisk Cloud Storage, AWS S3, Azure Blob Storage, Google Cloud Storage requires more setup but is highly scalable. Asterisk Online API if applicable if the data is available through an API, this is often the best approach. Asterisk use code to download and process data in chunks asterisk. Explanation of the chunking code asterisk. One import libraries asterisk import requests for downloading data, pandas for CSV parsing, if applicable, and IO for handling data in memory. 2 process underscore data function asterisk this function handles the data downloading and processing. 3 requests dot get, url, stream equals true, asterisk the stream equals true argument is essential. It allows you to download the data in chunks without loading the entire file into memory at once. 4 response dot raise underscore for underscore status, asterisk checks for http errors, Example 404 not found. 5 file type detection asterisk the code attempts to determine the file type based on the URL or the content type header returned by the server. 6 CSV processing, using pandas. Asterisk pd read underscore csv, io dot string io, response dot text, chunk size equals chunk size reads the CSV data from the streamed response in chunks. io.stringio is used to treat the text response as a file-like object that pdread underscore CSV can process. Asterisk the for chunk in, loop iterates over each chunk of data. 
asterisk inside the loop, you can perform your analysis on each chunk. The example calculates the mean of a column, but you can replace this with any processing you need. Asterisk important asterisk make sure to check that the column you are trying to access exists in each chunk using if your underscore column in chunk dot columns because not all chunks may contain the complete column. 7 text file processing asterisk asterisk response dot it here underscore lines decode underscore unicode equals true iterates over the lines of the text file. Decode underscore Unicode equals true ensures that the lines are decoded as Unicode strings. 8. Error handling asterisk The code includes try, except blocks to handle potential errors during downloading and processing. Important considerations for chunking asterisk. Asterisk memory management asterisk Even with chunking, be mindful of memory usage. Avoid storing all the chunks in memory simultaneously if possible. Process each chunk independently and discard it once you're done. Asterisk data dependencies asterisk if your analysis requires data from multiple chunks, you'll need to implement a mechanism to combine or aggregate the results from each chunk. Asterisk file format asterisk this example shows CSV and text processing. Adapt the code based on the specific file format you're working with. For other formats, you might need to use different libraries, example OpenPixel for Excel files, custom parsing logic for specific text formats. Asterisk Google Drive permissions asterisk ensure the Google Drive file is shared with anyone with the link and that it's set to viewer access. Asterisk Google Drive rate limits asterisk Google Drive has usage limits. Excessive downloading might trigger rate limiting. Consider using Google Cloud Storage if you need to download data frequently. 10. Report the issue, if all else fails. Asterisk action asterisk if you've tried all of the above and are still encountering the error, report the problem to OpenAI through their support channels. Provide as much detail as possible about the file you're uploading, the steps you've taken, and the error messages you're seeing. The issue might be on their end. Example scenario, large CSV file for analysis. Let's say you have a large CSV file, example sales underscore data dot CSV, containing sales transactions that's too large to upload directly. You want to calculate the total sales per product category. 1. Upload to Google Drive asterisk upload the sales underscore data dot CSV file to your Google Drive. 2. Create shareable link asterisk get a shareable link for the file and ensure it's set to anyone with the link and viewer access. 3. Use the chunking code asterisk use the process underscore data function from the previous example modified to perform the sales category calculation key takeaways asterisk asterisk reduce file size asterisk always be the first step asterisk choose the right format asterisk stick to common supported formats asterisk handle zips carefully asterisk simplify structure and content asterisk chunking is powerful asterisk for very large data sets download and process data in manageable pieces. Asterisk error handling asterisk implement robust error handling to catch and report issues. Asterisk report persistent problems asterisk if you've exhausted all troubleshooting steps, contact OpenAI support. By following these steps, you should be able to resolve the failed to get upload status for slash mnt slash data error and successfully work with files in chat gpt with code interpreter good luck